Hey guys, uh, Glasgow TCG here with, as you see, a box opening of Buddy All Stars. So this is the newest set. We all kind of want a little bit from it. I have a Corvi and a Melrose. Hey, Melrose. Hi. Oh, sorry, I'm really confused. <laughs> Meros is opening some sl some new sleeves and is very confused as to how to get into them. <laughs> and it's very amusing to no, watch. No, I got into them. It's the fact that, like, if you're ripped off. <laughs> you're a dumbass. Right, I'll get into the box opening now. <laughs> right, so 15 pack. If you can get into the box. I'm assuming two triple R's, because I know there's eight triple R's in this set. Which yeah, is... Quite a lot. It's quite a lot. But so the next one that's actually... Ooh. Oh, I didn't know there was this. Right. So we got the boxed up or Purgatory Night promo. Apparently. So, act. Another <laughs> hand. Just draw another card. I'll hurt you. Purgatory Night. Everything you love. And it's card name on your field. And if you do, your opponent chooses a card, Mesar Hard Hands, and discards it. That's kind of cool. I don't know how used it will be, but it's kind of cool. Defense, please. I know. Right, so pack number one, guys. Like uh, Some cards. I don't actually some know. Some cards. Uh, Fifth Omni, dude. Uh, arms reboot. Put a dragon arms monster from your drops on into your hand. That's Is this the set with the, cool. the really cool spec? The really cool Darkness Dragon card? Which one? The one where my opponent can't play counters. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, some generic. So, generic size zero, that's kind of. Well, Star Dragon size zero. Uh, some Hero World support. <laughs> uh, a Dragon Knight. And. Uh, Dungeon finally got a burn card. I know that much. I know what that card does. A burn card? So you pay a life and choose a card. Choose one of the one of the following two abilities. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so put yeah. a demon lord from your drop zone into your hand, or put a top card of your deck into gauge and deal a damage. Kick. So there's an all oh, uncommon. I don't want to do stuff. Hmm? I said I know what I can do just now. I can build Arla Knight. Mm -hmm. okay. That was my box. So we got a double R, <laughs> which is good. Do you want so else? just fuck you. <laughs> Uh, we got the, the double attack dragon arms did for Star Dragon World, which is really good. Oh. And then we got a Gang the King SD. So it's pay one gauge. If you have another originally size 3 Raging Spirits on your field. SD pants for small dick. Because you have a small dick, uh, it, The size is reduced by 3. So you have a 6, 2, 3, size 0 on your field. I uh, got a Crimson Battler, Uncommon, Terraforming. So put a Dragon Arms from your field, or a Dragon Arms from Soul of a Card into your drop zone and gain 4 life. Kind of cool. A uh, Neo Dragon. Some card that I'm not going to read the ridiculous amount of text on. Oh, we got a foil. Cool. So we got a rare respective battle and size spell 100 demon dudes. Uh, fifth Omni. Size 2, 3, 2, 2. Act Black Thunder Light. Put the top cards, put the top two cards of deck into your gauge and take two, and you take two damage. Ew. Doesn't <laughs> seem very good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any notable commons? I'm not reading the wall of text on that. <laughs> so, if you haven't noticed, this is probably the first time I'm reading most of these cards. Why I'm taking so long. Uh, we got the size 0 hundred demons, dude. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, new Yamagatsuni, which is really good. Uh, a size 0 Dragon Kid. Put a Shadow Dive monster from your field to your hand. Queenic, a a Queenix oh, yeah. Axia. Yeah. And some other thing. Oh, it's really good. 
Yeah, really good, Mel. I guess a lot of repairs. Skull Warriors just get good. Oh, yay! So we got a triple R, which is Jackknife Superior Plasm. Oh. Uh, and a Star Dragon. Star thingy. <laughs> star to Star. It says, uh, it's an impact pay to gauge. You may call a Neo Dragon from your from your, from your hand or drop them by paying its call cost. Then if you have three or more Neo Dragon monsters on your field, de deal three damage to your opponent. That seems horrendous. What do you actually do? So. Jackknife Superior Plasm is pay 2 gauge. When this card enters your field, you may call up to 1 size 1 and up to 1 size 0 Dragon Arms from your drop zone on separate open areas by paying its call cost. It's very good, very solid. And then some not very notable commons, I assume. Ah, Sword of Dragon Life. So, Raiding Sprout's got another nullified destruction almost. Yep. <laughs> Another nullified destruction nose. Fuck yeah. No. They've got so many of them. I know. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, so we got a foil Gang the King SD, which I'm really happy about. Um, you opened them all? No, no, I got a foil. I know. Uh, so we've got yeah, Decker Drum SD. Counter, put this card from your field into your drop zone. If you do, try it. Destroy a size 1 or less monster on your field. Oh, it's a size 0. This is very good. And then we've got Dragon, Dragon Emperor of Legends, which is no, lovely. Attacks, yeah. um, do we know what rate it is? Uh, I think it's uncommon. None of it so far. Some not very... Oh, Star Dragon got a little bit of support. So it's act pay to gauge. If this is in the soul of your Neo Dragon, you may pay to gauge, and if you do, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. It's kind of cool for a size one four two two four two one. Sorry. The <clears throat> War of Death Talica. In my alliance, something that I can't pronounce. Let me call us if you have a reason for the money. When is it available? Show your deck. Eh, uh, something. Ah, uh, a new kind of cool Star Dragon impact. Eh, uh, weapon, sorry. Eh, uh, and nothing else very noticeable. Cool. Nothing else. <coughs> I think you finish talking it. Yeah, you really do, man. Was... Yeah, I've been wanting to do that for a while now. Uh, a dragon baby Ricky. If you have another raging spirits field, raging spirits would leave your field. You may remove this from the from the field instead. And uh, then star star jack boost, which is almost like you gain you gain a gauge and draw a card. Star. And then some shoot. Oh, wow. Raging Spirit's got a 6-6. Six, six. What? I did not know that was happening. That's gross. That's disgusting. I've already got another nullified nullify destruction as well. Yeah. Well, this Raging Spirit sounds fun. No. Fair decks. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Nothing for you. I don't think. No. Uh, our friendship will never perish. Me only catch if you have a, if I have six or less life, and you have a size zero and a size three raging spirits on your field. Pay to gauge, destroy a card in your opponent's field, and deal to damage to your opponent. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That's the point of the deck. Now, Dale Seeger SD. And then some not very notable commons because I can't bother reading them all because there's so many. I don't actually. What about the best you use? What about six? It's mostly nice. <coughs> Who's saving them for something uh, special? Dungeon enemy size zero. <laughs> uh, not not very good. I'll tell you if it appears. <laughs> 
B U Q A S D. So kind of cool. Another six six for raining strikes. Uh, fifth Omni Armored Dragon something. Yeah, Blade Wing SD. Forgot I got another promo under today. <laughs> Forgot how good this thing is. Gains a crit if there's something Suki can't get to. Right, what does this do? So pay two gauge. <coughs> if you have three or more different cards in your drop zone with fifth Omni in its name, this yeah. card gets double attack. Oh wow. And then if you have four or more, this gets plus critical. And if there's five or more, this card gets penetrated. It's a crit. Ah, kind of. It's kind of cool. Size three. I got something. Stole your triple R of some form, and I think it's this. What is Suki? Uh, uh, Giant knife drum bunker. Death. Death gaze ST. Mm. What is this Suki Kagi ST? Hmm. Suki Kagi ST. It's a double armor. I don't really? know. Yeah. Uh, Giant knife drum. Pay a gauge and put it on top of a monster with jackknife or drum in its name, and then it gets moved and double attack if it's in the soul of a jackknife and penetrate if it's in the soul of a drum and plus one critical. Not the most optimal triple R that we want that I wanted or they wanted. I I got the triple R I wanted. I got nothing. You can get a triple R you wanted. Did you got a double R. But they pack a double R. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got the Demon Goro Searcher. Uh, charging head first, Ricky. And some comments. Two packs remaining. I have no idea if we're due to get anything else. We are. <laughs> A foil. Uh, some non existent commons. Well, Common of the same thing. Foil of this. The new draw for da the danger and the new fairy weapon add back. <laughs> or no, it's the fairy call. So you get to call a wider circle from your drop zone by paying its call cost. And then a foil of this. Which is put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge, then you may return a secret sword. Or a card with lethal formation in its name from your drop zone into your deck if you do shuffle your deck. Seems very pointless. Uh, last pack. Corby's hovering over me like a. <clears throat> Just to let the audience know, Corby's looking for a card called Absolute Attack. There you go! Bang! Very last pack. Got one. I need four. And the last. Uh, last double R was Count Dawn of the Distant Days. Is this coming foil? Yeah. Mm. Every card in this game comes in foil. Mm, you fall, boy. Right, so this is like the boomerang dragon for every deck. <laughs> so it adds back. So we got two double R, two triple R's. One, two, three. That looks so wrong, my rose. Five double R's and a foil rare and two uncommon foils. Not the best of boxes, to be fair. I don't think. Right, guys, thanks for watching. As with TCG signing off. Bye. -bye.